Everybody, I made a mistake. A happy mistake. I was looking on Facebook Marketplace today when I was bored. And that is my mistake. Why was I looking on there? I have no idea. But I found a really cool seller on there that had a whole bunch of stuff. He's just a local guy here who collects Lego and he's looking to sell some Lego. So there's a huge assortment of stuff that I've been talking to him about. And today, I think I'm going to go buy this huge assortment of Lego. Ooh. <laughs> it's pretty big. Wait till you see it. It's crazy. In addition to that, we're going to do a couple other things. I've got to stop at a Walmart because I need to pick up a new shelf. But we can't fit any more shelves down here. Yeah, like where are we going to put a new shelf? Well, this shelf isn't designed to you know, hold built Lego sets or display Lego sets. It's going to be designed to clean up our Harry Potter closet right here. The closet under the stairs, because this is one of my rooms here that I'm not, well, I'm, I'm really happy with the look of it. Like it looks really hot, but I can't really get in here. So that's an issue. This is like my furnace room, but yeah, like I need to tidy this up so I can actually access the stuff in this room and actually see what's in here. But wait a minute, I'm not going to be able to fit a shelf in here. Well, I was talking to the wife and she's going to let me move some Lego to another section of the house. So today we're going to be dealing with this problem as well, which is exciting in my opinion. I've got to go meet this guy first though in about 10 minutes. I've got to drive to the other end of the city. It's something that I always do is keep an eye on my local classifieds just because you never know. You might find some deals. Honestly, this one's not like a smoldering hot deal, but there was two lots of things that I specifically wanted. And then I was like, oh yeah, but what if we throw a package together to make it a little bit more juicy for, for both of us, you know, a bigger dollar amount for you and more Legos, Legos for me. I know it's Lego. I just said that to, to, get, to get under your skin. Did it work? I hope it worked. <laughs> but yeah, let's go uh, on a little road trip here and go pick up this Lego and this new shelf. Woohoo! So everybody, I have arrived at the Lego pickup spot. And it is B-E-A-U-tiful outside. Wow. Woo! A nice September afternoon. Glorious day, glorious day indeed. So I just finished up with the bulk Facebook buy. That was an interesting experience. So I pay for the stuff with e-transfer, right? And sometimes e-transfers take up to about half an hour to go through. It's just the nature of, you know, reasonably sized e-transfers, which is all good. The seller rolled up with uh, his father and he comes out and, you know, we inspect everything, everything looks good. So I send the e-transfer. I wait for five minutes, the e-transfer doesn't go through. I show him that you know, this is the right email, it went through, like, it's out of my account, here you go, it's on the way to you. And then I was like, so we can do one of two things here, I have no problem waiting for this to go through in this parking lot here. No big deal. Or you can trust me, my name's Brixie, this is me, you saw me on YouTube, you know who I am. And when I made that suggestion, he like started like freaking out at me saying, you know, swearing at me, telling me to get his stuff out of my car, pretty much like not trusting me to the point that he thought I was, you know, screwing him over, which was like, I was like, wow, this is crazy. Like I, I was just like, Hey man, like, please don't be disrespectful in this situation. I mean, I was, you know, like you're younger than me. Just don't be disrespectful. I, I gave you the option of waiting you know, I'll sit here in this parking lot and I'll wait until it goes through. No problem. Or you can take a picture of my ID and here's my phone number. Everything's okay, right? And he was just like, like it like went uphill real quick. Like it was interesting. And I don't think it's, you know, him to blame. I think that he's had some experiences in the past with some sketchy buyers. So he was just living through experiences and sort of, levying that onto me but I was like holy cow man like it's all good buddy like it's no sweat we're just buying some lego here it's all good man it's just unfortunate that sometimes experiences cause people to act that way and I was like shaking I was like whoa man like 
It's all good. I'm gonna show you what we bought in a second here. Now I'm at Walmart. I'm gonna go see if there's anything in their Lego aisle and also see if they have a shelf for us. At first, this is what I thought they had. Pretty small shelf with only, you know, four shelves and it's only 52 inches tall. But then I found this one here, which is 72 inches tall and has five shelves. So that's what I'm gonna get. 41.88, I think that's a pretty good deal. I mean, this thing can hold, uh, holy cow, 340 kilograms worth of Lego. That's a lot of Lego, Ben. So this is probably where my kids are gonna sleep for quite some time because the cribs actually convert into beds. You take the, the front panel off and I'd imagine they can share a room for quite some time. So the wife and I were talking we have this other bedroom right here that used to be my workout room. Still plan on making this a new workout room once we get back into the groove of things because we're just so busy right now we don't have time to do anything but work and take care of babies. But I set up this shelf right here and this is gonna be our new Lego investment shelf in the random room where I used to tech deck all the time and stuff like that. We got this sit-stand desk that we're probably gonna sell on Facebook just because we have no use for it right now. But uh, yeah, this is gonna be our new Lego investment shelf. Woohoo! <laughs> Slash workout room. Yeah, it's gonna work good when we can work out and look at our Lego investment sets. Okay, so before we fill that shelf with everything that we have in that other room there, let's take a look at what we picked up today. So this is the bag of stuff that started it all on our Facebook hunt. I was like, oh my gosh, that is a lot of minifigures. There's actually a bag inside that bag. We're going to have a more detailed look at what's inside here because I literally don't even know. Uh, so we'll have a detailed look at that in one moment. We'll find out together. I know it's a lot of loose pieces and stuff like that. It's probably going to take some work to piece everything back together. But that is a big bag of minifigures. So that's pretty cool. So I was looking on the Facebook ads and I was like, well, what else does this guy have? He's got the sand crawler that I never bought. You know, this one's pretty neat. It's like a smaller version of the UCS sand crawler. And I think it'll look pretty good in that sh or on that shelf with the other version. It comes with some cool minifigures, Jawa, Luke Skywalker, medical droid, RA7, R5A2. And then it's just a nice small version of the sand crawler, which is dope in my opinion i don't know why i never got that one so then i was like okay i want to get these two things but i want to try and get a deal so how do you get a deal on facebook well you try and buy some other stuff so i look at his other listings and i'm like oh man you've got a death star Ooh, i think this is for the 2008 death star came with the instruction manual and it comes with 22 minifigures you can see all the minifigures along the top there Everything's there. All the pieces are there. I didn't really get a good deal on it. To tell you the truth, that cost me 600 Canadian dollars. Did I need to get that? Probably not. Honestly, probably didn't really need to get that. I don't even know why I did. <laughs> 600 bucks. He wanted originally 700 for it, but then he said, I'll take 600 if you uh, get all this other stuff. And I was like, okay, well, let's continue looking at your listings. Bad idea. I got four 501st battle packs right there for about 25% off. And then I got this one here, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, Spider-Man's Drone Duel, he actually threw this in for us. It comes with Spider-Man, like the black Spider-Man, which is really neat. And also Vulture, don't have those too many figures, so that's why I was sort of eyeing that up. So that is our Facebook haul. We got some 501st stuff, we got the Spider-Man, we got a Death Star that we definitely didn't need, but then we got a wicked cool sand crawler, which is what uh, like enticed me to want to get this stuff. And also these giant bags of minifigures. Let's have a look at what's inside. Oh man, at first glance, this is looking pretty grim, everybody. This is looking not good at all. We got some army guys from Toy Story, which is good. But oh wow, there's just a lot of like miscellaneous pieces in here. I mean, some stuff can probably be pieced together pretty well, but the first bag, Oh, it is looking rough. Oh my gosh. Oh man, you win some, you'll lose some. And I think I lost here. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a mess. I should have inspected the bag a little bit further. Holy cow. <laughs> what have I done? That's all right. But check out all the minifigs so far. Like when I am able to piece them together, they're definitely like missing pieces. Like where's Donald's hat? And like, where's Batman's hand, right? Like there's missing pieces and stuff. We got Jesse, that's cool, from Toy Story. We also got Frodo. I'm pretty sure, like these look a little bit off, but I'm pretty sure these are Lego. 
that's like some of the dwarves, I, I think. Like, was that Gimli? So maybe some LOTR ones in there, but I've never seen those ones. I'll have to make sure that they're actually Lego. But yeah, like these things are just like, like this is just a shambly mess. What I'm gonna have to do is probably just sort it all by like heads, torsos, legs, accessories. And then maybe I can just put some together for the city, right? So I mean, to have city population isn't the end of the world. And there's a lot of joining stuff, like a lot of stuff that can be pieced together, like legs, torso, head, accessory, hairpiece, something like that, or, you know, like that. So I can actually start to use some of these in the Lego city, but definitely a lot of work. I'm just gonna have to like bring them upstairs and watch Netflix and uh, hopefully build some minifigs for the Lego city. Yeah, I mean, there's a complete one. There you go. Another one of those guys there. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, not, not very good at all. All right, uh, let's uh, reorganize our shelf upstairs there. So there we go, now with the removal of all of that stuff and a bunch of exercise going up and down the stairs 50 times, this room looks a lot better. So now we have these shelves here pretty much opened up, which is good, all right? Not bad, just a few sets on there. And then we got some more sets just down there underneath the stairs. And it's all lifted up off the ground with that pallet there. Put a pallet under there and uh, some wood on top. Nice smooth surface for us. But yeah, now we can actually access this room. So that's good. What I'll probably do in the end is move the majority of like this stuff in there. Like the mini fig trays and stuff like that. And all these like promos and stickers and stuff. Just because that's like our ongoing whatnot auction material. So I'll make that like our whatnot auction stock room, if you will. And there we go. Now we can work out and check out some of our uh, investment sets. It's actually looking pretty sad when I moved all of these upstairs here. I'm out of breath from it. I realized that uh, most of these are just current sets, actually, like pretty much all of them other than this train right there. Oh, and the A-Wing. Yeah, speculating with Lego. I don't know if that's a wise choice. What do you think? A lot of current stuff here. I don't know. I don't know if it's a wise move, but hey, why not, right? Ultimately, what's the point of this? Well, it's obviously to make a buck or two in the future. You know, everything I do, well, not everything I do, but my main objective of the business is to one day have a large property with a Lego building where we operate a BrickLink store and YouTube and live streams and Lego City and shipping and whatnot auctions and everything like that and in order to make that happen i've got to try and do things like this yeah it's just the end goal right anything that i can do to make that happen i'm going to try and do it right but yeah this is all like current stuff it's a lot of speculation there with the raising price of lego i've heard a lot of people bashing lego saying that they're done with it lately but still i think lego will always be a thing i know it will be and I think some of these sets on here are pretty good. Like A-Wing, Vintage Truck, Razor Crest, uh, at, at you know, Party Boat. Okay, maybe not the Party Boat. <laughs> R2-D2, Moss Eisley, stuff like that. So look at that. It fits on the shelf perfectly. So there we go. Got quite a bit done today. I'm glad that we got all that stuff moved upstairs. Did I need to buy another Death Star? No. <laughs> Definitely not. I don't know why I did actually. And did I need to buy all these minifigures? Definitely not. I'm gonna have to sort through these things tonight and just sort of, like I said, break them down by part type and hopefully get a big old population for the city. So that's a positive, I think. Yeah, that's our uh, vlog, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. And, uh, Farewell, have a great day. Bye-bye.